Hey Miss Vampires fans, today we're going to talk about how to create a custom server. Uh, for those of you who've never done this before, it's a pretty easy process and it is a slick way that they have set this up so you can modify a ton of things related to your server to create the world that you want. You know, I know they've created a new quote official server that has, you know, increased um, startup mechanic in it. Well, you know what? You can do that on your own server. If you want uh, to create a situation where your skills and proficiencies increase at an insanely fast rate, um, this gives you the opportunity to do that. Um, I'm also going to talk about some issues that I had when I first set up my custom server and we'll look at some screenshots of some language in the the server feed um, that will let you know if you're on the right path or if you're on the wrong path. So first thing we want to do if we want to create a custom server is come down here to obviously create custom server. Click that and we get this menu. Okay now you notice it's a, this is a start console so let's go up here to the top basic settings they want you, you can put in your server name which is kind of important so you know where to go you can add a password you can set the number of players you can set it as PvP or PvE I haven't monkeyed with any of this down here um, and I th don't think I, I changed any of these I think this is all default so once you get through that we can come to advanced settings and you can see and get an idea of all the things that we can change um, from your buff values to you know enabling durability um, which you know uh, you can also change the, the rate at which the durability uh, declines come down here to NPCs and wildlife we can change their behavior a variety of their behaviors for that matter um, let's see if there's any of these that I've changed you can change the, the you know able amount and that enable or disable mount limits change the number of playable mounts if you look my warriors experience coefficient was default at one I've changed that to two and a half to see how that works same with their skill levels you can change timers on a variety of things. You can change how the, the resources um, spawn and the, the levels that they contain in, in like the nodes and stuff. Uh, modify damage settings. Player settings. You can come in here. Um, you can change the experience gain. I've been playing with that to see how, how that increases and speeds up the, the, the leveling process. Um, you can increase the your player's movement speed. Uh, that defaults at one. I've got that at 1.5 just to see how that works. Um, and it's obviously as you would expect, it's made a significant difference. Uh, icons. You can change building settings. Uh, you can change your decay rates in PvP or PvE. Change the the distance of your boundary markers. Oh, wait a minute. NPCs and wildlife. Let me go back to that. Uh, because I think, yeah. Movement speed of tamed animals. That's one that you guys might be really be interested in. Uh, that impacts your horse speed. I'm currently playing on another server, which unfortunately hasn't updated in the past week so I guess I'm not playing on it right now but I have been playing on it and their movement speed I think is is about 1.5 so I've bumped mine to 1.5 to see if I get similar results from my mounts uh, just out of curiosity but you can change change that now I'm not sure about the mod manager I'm assuming this is where you can roll mods in uh, and 
but I haven't done that yet. So once you get all these ch things um, set the way you want them, come down here to Start Console, and again you put your server name in. You've got a server ID. We save the configuration the way we want it, um, and then we come over here to hit Start Server. Get this message it will take you to where you've got this thing saved you double click that to start the server you shut that down now and we will get this window right here where it starts loading everything in and it gives you a log of what's going on now originally when I set this up I got to my start screen, got in, did the character creation, hit enter world or whatever that button is, and then in the background on that screen you just saw that's running the, the detail of the, of the server info, I got error messages, okay, and it basically said that it couldn't load the, the central map from the, that particular drive that it was located. Well, I've got multiple drives. And I installed it on C, and for whatever reason, it did not like that. So I had to uninstall it. I installed it on my D drive, and it liked it a lot better. Didn't have any problems. So if you're getting a, a failed start, you know, after or at character creation, you come back to this screen and you should and you see this message and then you know that there's probably an issue with the drive that it's on once you get to a point where it's ready to roll you'll get something that looks like this okay you get this block of text here where it's changed from entering map to waiting to start um, which means that the server's ready to go. Okay, and hopefully. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, connect server succeed. It's ready to go. We come back to custom server now because that's where it's going to be after it's been created. And oh, by the way, you need to leave that screen open and running. And you need to leave that one open and running, I do believe, because I believe I closed that one before and it killed my server feed. So go to custom server, gonna hit refresh just for grins to make sure. Because sometimes it takes a bit from the time you get the messages ready to go till it, it populates on the custom server list. So we do that. There it is, right there, and it's ready to go. So hopefully that helps. Those of you who want to create your custom server, there's a ton of options in each one of those windows, as you saw. Play with it, find what you like, and what works for you and what doesn't. And uh, hey, hope that helps your, you understand how to create a custom server. And if you have any problems similar to what I did, hope, hopefully this helps. Thanks a lot.